You know how to use an agent ID link with Real Geeks? Well, it's a great tool to be able to have people sign up directly to your account on your Real Geeks, whether you're on a team or a whole firm. I'm going to show you how to use it, how to test it out, and everything else today. Dustin over here at Manor Realty, let me know what questions you got. So, first things first. Our agents have access to a form that I've made of the agent ID hyperlink. You can see it right here. And what I've done is I've actually made it just a little bit easier for them to be able to click on it and be able to automatically update it. If you don't have something like this inside of Real Geeks, they actually have this link set up as a whole. First off, to find your agent ID link, you're going to have to log in as you into your system. Sometimes you might have to have an admin to be able to do this, but whenever you get in here, you can actually go in and click on the person that you want to be. And so I'm going to go down here to myself and I'm going to click right here and you'll see at the very top in the hyperlink bar, URL, domain, whatnot. See that link, that right there, that is actually my agent ID link with Real Geeks. So if I copy that then that's how I'm going to actually use that because it'll give you a whole extension for them to be able to click on and go to it. So inside of Real Geeks, inside their support, you can actually just type in agent ID and you'll actually see the links right here of how to get a lead to go to a specific agent. When you go in here, you'll actually click on that link right there and it will go here to the agent ID. Finding your agent ID link, Go to your users, yes, and see where I've got this number right here. Yep, that agent ID, mine is uh, like a 10 or something. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna actually go to the URL that you wanna use, and you click right here. I would copy this, and I would go up here and paste it. Now, my agent ID is a little bit different, but so my domain name is mantlehomefinder.com. And then I'm going to put my agent ID link in there. Again, I'm going to go back over here for my agent ID link. That's how long I've been with Real Geeks. I start with the one. And then over here, I'll change my agent ID to there. So there's my agent ID link. If I shared that with anybody, whether it's Facebook or in my email profile, things like that, that's going to automatically cookie them. And what I mean by that is as long as they haven't cleared their cookies or if they are um, brand new to the site, things like that, if they sign up, they're going to automatically come to my account. Now, the way to test this is actually just you go into here, you're going to copy this and go to an incognito tab. Uh, you need to do this because then incognito doesn't have the cookies saved. Um, so if you clicked on it anyways, it would go to it from your own account or if your husband has, wives, whatnot. Because we always wonder, is this link working? Is anybody actually clicking on it? So if I clicked right here, and then I am now a cookie person. So if I'm going to go in and click on a property, you want to see this property right here. I'm going to type in my name. I'm going to change my email just so I know. And then change a the phone number right here to a bunch of ones. All right and continue to photos. All right, so once you have that, it says thanks for signing up, and then guess what? Now I'm gonna go back outside of my incognito tab and go back to my agent and then go to leads, look at my leads. And you'll see right here, there's the lead that I made and there where it's assigned to myself. So now I've tested it and I can see that it works. All right, so if you want to share it, that was that example is just to share from your homepage. So if it's just a generic search, but what if you actually wanted to share uh, individual property that you might actually like? So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, we're going to go right here, we're going to copy the single property link, and go over here, and then I'm going to again change my URL back over to mine. And what I would suggest doing right here is actually having this link saved in a Word document or something like that property let's get a property i'm going to go over here i'm going to find a property number um we'll go to this one right here copy it and then go back over here the property is right here and then the agent id link click on the wrong button right here i'm going to go back to myself because i don't remember my link there's my number all right and i'm over here again just write it down copy it somewhere and then if i posted that anybody who is on my account that is not cookied meaning they haven't been here before or they've cleared out their site uh cookies or where they clean their history whatnot that would go to me so if you wanted to post inside of your social media account if you said look at this great property 
look at this great thing. Add the link right there. It's gonna actually pull up the thumbnail from the listing and then you can post it and actually um, that's gonna be cookied. So look, nice and pretty, whatnot. Now, here's the next tip I'm gonna actually tell you to do. I would actually personally go here because I think that looks a little bit ugly. It looks like it might be spammy, right? So if I went in here and went into video link, came in here, I'm gonna create a new link, link. There's that, and be like, uh, yeah, see, look, it already put title in there. I can change the link back here if I wanted to. So it would be like 2295 Rowl. All right, so I'm going to create this link. Now, if I created this link right here, look, I can copy this link. And instead, if I post it from here, doesn't that look a lot better? All right, so you can see same link, everything else. The other thing that this is gonna allow you to do is if you use Biddy Link, is you're gonna be able to see what all is going on. So if I came back to my Biddy Link, I can look to see what my clicks are, where they're coming from, everything else um, per account that I'm using. So some of it's paid feature, some of it's not, but you can actually see everything that's going on. Uh, other things that you can do, I'm not gonna get into is, you can share just a landing page and of things, the home value um, for a seller. If you have that tool, uh, a shared search, things like that, you can actually share all those and test it out. So if you got any questions, feel free to reach out or look on your Rootix account. So that's great.